Welcome to the 3 minute guide to Lord Ryleth Heroic. This will for most people be the 3rd or the 4th encounter of the raid and is split into 2 phases. One control phase where you'll be tackling his feet and one burn phase when the boss gets a 25% HP. The boss has a huge pull range so don't be the guy that keeps jumping back and forth on his mount between pulls. Phase 1 primarily consists of hitting the feet of Ryleth, partially because the damage done to his feet is connected to the health of the boss, but primarily to steer the boss left or right around the room. The boss will always keep moving forward and it's the job of the DPS to navigate around the room without making the boss hit the lava in the outer perimeter, and to make him walk over active volcanoes, a mechanic we'll talk a little bit more about later. You want to bring 1 tank on 10 man, 1 to 2 tanks on 25 man, 2 to 3 healers on 10 man, and 5 to 6 healers on 25 man. When you engage the boss, he'll have a buff making him take 80% less damage. This buff will persist until he reaches 25%. You can and should reduce the effect of the shield by making the boss walk over active volcanoes, and each time he walks over one, the damage reduction buff will diminish by 10%. There are a few ways of dealing with the steering of the boss, but the easiest and most effective way in my opinion is to assign a left foot team and a right foot team while having an active raid leader make calls through voice comms. Have the raid leader call either left, right or split, and pray that your raid can distinguish between left and right. Every 30 seconds, the boss will cast Concussive Stomp, dealing AoE damage while spawning 2 to 3 volcanoes. While dormant, these volcanoes do nothing, and if Ryleth walks over one, he gains Molten Armor, a stacking damage buff. This damage buff is mostly irrelevant until phase 2, and every time he does Concussive Stomp, he drops a stack of the buff. A dormant volcano will randomly become active, and while it's active, it does damage to 3 random targets on 10 man and 6 random targets on 25 man, and leaves a stacking debuff, making the target take more fire damage. Incoming damage at first is very manageable, but once the stacks get higher and you have more than one active volcano, the damage can quickly overwhelm you. The main objective of phase 1 is to steer the boss to walk over these active volcanoes. Once it destroys it, he'll take 10% more damage and fire streams will spawn from the previous volcano location. It deals minimal damage on spawn, but after 10 seconds, the lines will erupt, dealing significant fire damage to anyone standing them. In phase 1, the boss will spawn 3 ads, Spark, Fragments, and Liquid Obsidian. The sparks are big ads that need to be picked up and tanked by your main tank. These have a pulsing 12 yard AoE that deals very little damage. Keep it somewhat close to the feet while not roasting your melee. Sparks have a stacking buff that makes them deal and take 10% more damage every 5 seconds. The melee swings get nasty high stacks, so keep some defensive cooldowns rolling for that. These can mostly be handled with the help of a few ranged players and a tank. Fragments are small ads that have a low amount of HP that needs to be tanked. They have a 30 second buff, and once that buff goes to zero, they explode for the amount of HP they have left. Simply clean these down under the feet of the boss. Liquid Obsidian are small blobs that move towards the boss. They give the boss 1% damage reduction when they reach him. Simply ignore these ads. Once the boss reaches 30-35%, to 35%, pop Lust and nuke the feet. Once the boss reaches 25%, all volcanoes and ads will despawn, and the boss will shed his armor and enter phase 2. This is simply a burn phase. We'll do a pulsing fire damage every second and have fire beams that spawn near random members. You'll still have to deal with concussive stomps to coordinate raid cooldowns for when that happens. Use your offensive and defensive cooldowns, burn down the boss, collect loot. And that's how you kill Lord Ryleth on Heroic. Subscribe for more 3 minute guides.